So then he like, listen, girl, let me give you this sweet talk real quick. I want to break your back so goddamn hard right now. Shit, I might even break your back so goddamn hard. I might even kill you one day. Give birth to my child I'm so guess, I can have a work. I'm guessing it actually did kill her. Yeah, uh, that's how Baki was born. So then Yujiro gives her a whole bear hug and he's like, remember when I told you that one day I might break your back so goddamn hard it might even kill you? Today's the day, bitch. Yeah. Ooh, what's up guys? My name is Don Red and welcome back to another video. Today I got for you guys another CJ the Champ video. After the whole Majin Buu one, we had to see another one. I saw some characters in there that I was interested in. And... um. <clears throat> The fact that he had a whole table full of them, but he apparently Boo um, has been appearing in his other videos, but he, that was his first time ever doing one on Boo. So I'm curious to see how the others got the round. I mean, Boo, he's the president, so he didn't really need that video, but he gave him one. So I'm curious to see how everybody else got added to it. So uh, we're going to get into it. This is called the most disrespectful moments in anime history. That Harry Joe, the Yuji Rohanma special. I'm sorry if I said that. Wrong. I'm unlikely said that wrong. But it's from the uh, Baki Hanma series on Netflix. So if you haven't seen that, you should check it out. It's a great series. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to go into his background story and show you everything dealing with him and why he's one of the worst ones and um, on the round table. So if you're new, hit that like button, comment what you want to see next without further ado let's get into the video i don't know why i'm having a stroke every time i do this all right let's see what he's talking about boy that ass was good <laughs> man literally picked up this big ass nigga with one hand and threw him across the floor and just <laughs> knocks him into the wall so baki's like all right bro enough is enough nigga so he comes running in just to get that signature back okay so when it comes to baki i think it's um one thing i watched dealing with baki specifically it did like a flashback to with him looking like this and i've been trying to figure out how to find that i did not know it was something else differently entirely i didn't really dive into it all that much but when i couldn't find it on netflix i just figured it was just something that just came out of nowhere with but it seems like it had a whole series before baki literally spazzed his whole body out <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history too. Now yeah, you see, right. this oh, one this is, is gonna be a little different. See, usually we would have multiple characters from multiple animes in the How? video. But today, we're gonna be focusing on one character. Now I know some of y'all okay. are probably wondering, CJ, why are you only focusing on one character in this vid? Well, uh... How do I put this? The man that we are about to talk about might damn well be the most disrespectful man in anime history. <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Yujiro Hanma is a weapon like Air Force. Like, dog, this nigga's on demon timing 24 7. From yeah. slapping bitches to beating the fuck out of his own son. Nigga out here fighting a polar bear for fun. Like, this man's nickname is the strongest creature on earth. Keep how they said creature instead of human. And I'm yeah. Like, Man, Captain, look at this nigga! This man got 0.01% body fat. A jawline gifted from Jesus himself. His back is a literal second torso. <laughs> got a six pack on your back nigga yeah i understand why they call him creature now like if you get compared to bigfoot's fat ass you you use literally just i don't know nigga you just built different yeah oh, some freaky ass shit oh but i can <laughs> hear some of y'all already typing in the comment section right now hey hey yo cj why that nigga not at the round table yet cuz Listen, 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 yeah, listen. About to I know Yujiro has been the most requested person to be in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Besides, like, guts. Well, you want to know why it took me so long to do this? Because, you see, this man has done so much heinous ass shit that I cannot give him a regular <laughs> trial. Like, dead ass, I would run out of exhibits. So I was like, all right, bruh. I'm just gonna have to give him a whole most disrespectful moments in anime history episode to himself. Cause this is the only way I could do it because it's gonna be a lot, bruh. Like, I'm probably not even gonna be able to add everything on here. So anything I leave off, just tell me and I'ma just put them in other parts. So everybody sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, lace up your black ones, and uh, let's get started. Wow. So to understand he is the philosophy of Yujiro I mean, Hama's disrespectful ways, we have- I mean, from what I have seen of- uh, Yujiro Hama, he is pretty terrible, like really bad. But like, there's stuff before 
the Netflix special dinner with um, Baki that he's been doing that I have no idea about, so this is about to be something. You have to go all the way back. So far back, the main character ain't even born yet. Yeah. We're talking about 1973 in the Vietnam War. See, I didn't his even know about this. He was fighting in a whole ass war with his bare hands at the age of 16, nigga. This is like the equivalent of running around in war zone with your bare fist and just beating the shit out of everybody. Like, this motherfucker <laughs> took guerrilla warfare to a whole nother level on some pure ass <clears throat> Rambo type shit. Right. So while he's in Vietnam, he meets his girl named Jane. And she out here trying to throw that ass back. She tried to seduce the hell out of this man. She like, you want to get laid, nigga? Oh, you scared? Or maybe you still haven't experienced a woman yet. And look at this man. He like, uh, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> then he just turns around and walks away, bruh. Man, it's like, I'm not about this bullshit today. But she still keep on running her mouth and talking shit. So the moment she turned around, this man Yujiro came right behind her back and said, Shall I tear your skull out right here? Homie was dead ass about to peel the skin off of this bitch. And look at her, she like, Damn, this nigga got two fingers in my mouth. Then this man just pimp slaps her like 20 yards, gave her a whole lecture, then walked out into the sunset. But nah, you thought this man was done in Vietnam? Nah, he was just getting started. That this was man goes light. on to kill a what? whole ass general uh, on some cobra. I, what I mean by light in comparison to all the stuff he do, did in the um, Netflix series, that, that was kind of light. It was still messed up though. Ops type shit. And to disguise <clears throat> himself so he could enter the base, he ripped off the general's face and used it as a mask. So then this man just runs wild, just beating the shit out of him, killing every single person in his path, busting through ceilings and shit. So then Jane pops back up and she's like, listen, nigga, I got some TNT and I'm about to blow this bitch sky high. So while they're escaping, Yujiro stops. She's like, what the fuck, nigga, why you stop? And he just stands there and just eats the entire explosion. Then he pimp slaps old girl again and he figures out that she's a whole ass UN agent named Diane that's leading him into a whole trap. So she tried to kill him, but obviously, uh, that ain't gonna work, honey. So how did he make her pay for this? Uh, well, he gave her that redo of the healer treatment. So after he gives her the googlies, this man uses her as a body shield, then just kills everybody outside and breaks this nigga's neck with one hand. So old girl holds this man up at gunpoint, trying to kill him again. Then this man flashed the whole demon back at her and just look at her face, bruh. Just in pure shock. She like, damn. I'm so this man just took her. Like, not only, not, not only he's, has he abused you, he just took you because you... Alright, alright, I'm gonna stop pausing. Really about to have that. I shouldn't be surprised. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how Jack Harper was born. Oh, okay, what? That, that explains was him. Son. Shit, we gotta go over how the main character was born. Okay, <clears> that explains Nick that one. Emmy, Baki's <clears> crazy ass, weird ass mom. Like, for all, I ain't gonna count this bitch as weird as hell. But, ladies and gentlemen, she always wasn't a crazy ass bitch. No, no, you see, back in the day, she was in a very happy relationship with a rich nigga. She was enjoying her life on a honeymoon. So then that night, they go to a party, right? And guess who's there? Yujiro, staring her ass down while she with her mans at a party. And look at her bruh, she is mesmerized. It's like he's dicking her down with just his eyes. So then the husband just sees her just straight up staring at him. And then he just slaps her ass, god damn, in front of the party, nigga? So then this man confronts Yujiro and he's talking <laughs> mad shit. Easy. Niggas like, your fashion sense, ass. Yo cut, ass. Yo shoes, ass. Yo demeanor, ass. Then he just throws a whole plate of soup on my nigga. So Yujiro's like, oh, you wanna get disrespectful? All right, I could get real disrespectful real quick. So he just leans in and kisses his wife. So homie gets mad and he's like, alright bro, I'ma let this dude handle you. But we all know th this nigga ain't gonna do shit. So yeah, Jiro just gives him the nastiest axe kick and just drills his face into the ground. Just completely one shot at homie. Embarrassing old dude even more and giving his wife the old giddy giddies. So then this man goes back to his hotel all mad and shit because he got made to look like a whole ass beta male in front of his wife. So then he trying to take out his anger on his wife and shit. But this man Yujiro pulls up in the hotel room just out of nowhere. Man is like, hey girl, I came to see you in homeboy's room. So then dude runs over to the phone all scared and shit like, hey yo security, where the fuck y'all niggas at? Somebody come help me. And well, uh, security. Oh. Oh, oh. Them niggas knocked the fuck out. So old dude pulls a gun on him, but we all know what happens when you try to pull a gun on this nigga. He grabs him with one hand and breaks his neck while still flirting at the same time. And look at her. She liked that. Oh, she a freak. So then he like, listen, girl, let me give you the sweet talk real quick. I want to break your back so goddamn hard right now. Shit, I might even break your back so goddamn hard. I might even kill you one day. Give birth to my child. I'm so guessing it actually did kill her. Yeah, uh. 
That's how Baki was born. So when Yujiro first makes his first appearance in the anime, this man is jumping out of a whole ass helicopter and just blasts himself into a room, not giving a fuck about property damage at all. So it comes in when Baki was fighting Hanayama. And look at that bro with a whole smile on his face. He's like, what's good, nigga? Homie deadass said, good, I made it in time. Looks like you just got started. Y'all niggas only got scratches right now. And the fight is already over. But this man Yujiro's like, nigga, if I don't see blood, the shit didn't even start. Then he just straight up tells Baki, nigga, you soft. And he's just yeah. laughing his ass off. So then Hanayama's like, all right, bro, I'll fight you. But my, my nigga, you shouldn't have said that shit. Because boy, that ass was getting Dude, <laughs> Man literally picked up this big ass nigga with one hand and threw him across the floor. And just <laughs> knocks him into the wall. So Baki's like, all right, bro, enough is enough, nigga. So he comes running in just to get that signature back in. Literally spazzed his whole body out. So before he leaves, he picks up Hanayama again and he's like, let me get in one last lick. Then he punches his whole face and to finish the job that he already finished. Then he's like, this was a waste of time. Y'all niggas are sorry, I'm leaving. <laughs> God, yo, this man is actually built different. So yeah. then he goes see Emmy's crazy ass. <laughs> she just starts trying to beat him, but he ain't even moving, bro. <laughs> then he just pushes her down, and he's like, bitch, I told you to raise my son to be strong as hell. That nigga weak as fuck. So then she tried to shake him, but he was like, cut that shit out. Yo, this man is like completely ruined her mind. Like, he must have blasted her brains out of something. So after all that goes down, Baki's like, all right, bro, I got to fight my dad at this point. So the night before the fight, Emmy's like, shit, let me go see what that nigga Yujiro doing real quick. So she's watching this man train in the hotel room, right? So she's like, mm, let me touch up on that nigga. Then he just grabs her whole face and just pushes her back. Look at this nigga. He's like, bitch, the fuck? Don't approach me until I tell you to approach me. You better hope to God Baki can fight me no more or else your ass is grass to me. So she's like, I'll stay tonight. And he said, nah, bitch, get the fuck out. Bro, look at her. This nigga Yujiro has absolutely broken her mind at this point. This shit just starts beating up on Baki like, why won't he love me? Oh my god. I told y'all this bitch was weird. She out here beating up her own son because her husband won't love her. Shit. My boy Baki got the husband most is a strong family word. I've ever seen. Shit, I don't know who's more dysfunctional at this point. The Hanmas, the Mishimas, or the Skywalkers. So then Baki and you That is a good debate. Honestly, out of all of them, I would... Ugh. The Skywalkers aren't that bad. They they were able to fix it at the end. They did have some messed up stuff, but like towards the end, they were able to fix it. dysfunctional at this point? The Hanmas, the Mishimas. It's gonna be kind of a tie between the Mishimas and the Hanmas, because they're very similar. Yeah. Oh, the Skywalkers. So then, Baki Skywalkers, and they were able to fix fight, that. But Dear God, bro, this was the worst ass whooping I probably ever <coughs> seen. This man was literally eating every single punch he threw at him. Not yeah, now, starting off Baki's uh, Netflix one, they did a flashback to this one. For raising him like this, guys. Y'all actually made him kind of strong. So then this nigga's like, all right, bro, it's time to eat. So he just starts wailing on him. He knocked him out and started beating his face into the ground over and over and over, constantly just beating the hell out of him. And everybody's just watching this like, God damn. Nigga own son. So then the mom's like, all right, I've been being weird as f the whole time. This nigga's beating the f out of my son. So then she started trying to swing on Yujiro, but dear God, baby girl. So she started biting him and shit. So then Yujiro gives her a whole bear hug and he's like, remember when I told you that one day I might break your back so goddamn hard it might even kill you? Today's the day, bitch. Yeah. This man literally killed his wife and beat the hell out of his son in one night. And after that, he's like, y'all niggas want to have fun too? He just starts beating the hell out of him while he's watching it. So after he killed his wife and dead ass just beat the fuck out of his son, Yujiro just goes around just doing his daily life, doing his daily activities, just disrespecting people. Homie went up into a boxing gym, started throwing shit around, literally slapping this man's punches away. Throws his ass down and just beats everybody up at the gym. Busted up into the prime minister's office, literally beat the brakes off of his entire security force. And while he was doing this, he took a break and smoked a cigarette. Like, look at them, bro. They surrounded him with riot shields and everything and couldn't do Free shit. Nigga just hit the dash, breaks both of their arms, busts into his office, and he's like, hey, nigga, your security is ass. And also, fuck your ass. And then we go into the next arc, and my guy Baki's like, bro, I gotta get revenge for this dude killing my mom. So when Yujiro's confront Jack, he's like, hey, nigga, you kinda strong. Now fight me, nigga. But then Baki comes in and he intervenes. So then Yujiro's like, nigga, if you don't get the 
fuck up all night here, boy. I ain't got time for your soft ass connections, nigga. And also on the same arc, he fights Dopo, reveals his 1% body fat demon back, beats the living piss out of him, also taking the nigga's eye and knocked him out standing up. So after all that goes down. Oh, what happened? Well, fight Muhammad Ali, it shows him flicking his son across the planet. <laughs> He sent that little nigga flying. Then he busts up at Baki's house and he's yeah, like, Hey, nigga, is, I see you about to yeah. go with your girl and shit. Okay. Now, when you first see this and you're like, Oh my God, this is the ultimate cock block. This man is literally standing over them while him and his girl are about to get it on. And he is dead ass encouraging them to do this shit. He's like, Yes, Baki, blow her back out. Blow her back out like I did your mother. It'll make you stronger than ever. And I'm just watching that shit like, Did this nigga just really encourage his son to beat the fuck out of her cheeks? Because it'll make him stronger? What in the hell? Then yeah. Baki's like, bruh, why are you in here, nigga? And yo, this man <laughs> dead ass says this. You're pretty funny, you know that, kid? A girl sneaks into your room, comes on to you, and you tremble with fear. If that's your idea of closing the deal, I'll never be a granddad. <laughs> Yo, this man just took a shot at every single hair and protagonist. So then this oh. man's like, I give you my blessing, then just leaves. So then we cut to this fight with Multibe and Yannick. Now, Multibe has won the fight. He cut off old poison dude's hand and's like, hey, nigga, that's a wrap. Concede. Nigga, you lost. So then just out of the blue, this nigga Yujiro just comes out of nowhere. He's like, hey, nigga, what's cracking? So this man pulls his sword on him like he gonna do something. But then this man Yujiro does the most demoralizing thing I have ever seen in an anime. He started laughing. Grab his sword and started breaking it into pieces one by one slowly look at this nigga's face this is just the face of uh nigga i'm fucked that, that just drains all of your confidence that is like the biggest you ain't shit thing that you could ever do to somebody so then this man yujiro pulls up on yanagi and he's like hey nigga you lost. So then Shibukawa pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, what the fuck are y'all doing out here? It's late as hell. Then Yujiro's like, shit, nigga, you right. I'm tired. I'm going home. But not at the mm -hmm. the Got your stupid ass. <laughs> Yo, he just blasted his face. Homie knocked the fuck out and just tooted up. Nigga dead ass said, you didn't lose. So that meant you were up for my challenge. Man literally had to get in one lick before he left. So then we get to the right tie tournament. <sighs> yeah. Lord have mercy. Ooh, I'm going to have to censor this part so hard. This man ripped off this nigga's face. He literally dug his fingers into his f***ing face and flung that shit and just straight up busted his face. Then he threw his face into the crowd. Oh my god, that's fucking disgusting. But after that, homie comes for round two, but nigga, why would you come for round two against this nigga? And then you do <laughs> just blast his kick into his face. Finally, to I guess finish the job. I mean, the job was already finished, but shit. He had to finish it again. So then he sees Baki backstage and he's like, Dad, I think I could take you now. <laughs> this man, Yujiro, was looking at him like, Really, nigga? Just throws him through the wall. Man was like, You ain't shit and you still ain't shit. <laughs> so then he fights the old OG for the last fight. And I ain't gonna lie, old OG was landing some punches. Mm -hmm. But then nigga, Yujiro did not care that he was beating the fuck out of a senior citizen. Cause goddamn, <laughs> he was whooping that ass. I mean, even though that the senior citizen dropped him. Homie pulled out that demon back, and there he got it was a wrap. Made the motherfucker kick the bucket in the middle of the fight. Somehow that man came back to life. I don't know if they got the Dragon Balls or some shit, but... He did it on purpose. That's lucky-ass OG, I'll tell you that. He did it on purpose. Well, uh, I guess all the evidence just goes ahead and uh, just proves it that... uh, My man Yujiro has finally entered the round table of Black Air Force activity. Like, I think it might be safe to say that this man might be the most disrespectful man in anime history. I mean, he don't care if you man or woman, child or senior citizen. He beating the shit out of your ass. His <laughs> hands are dead ass ready to eat for everyone. So yes, he is finally in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Ugh, yo, this video damn near took forever to make. So yeah, uh, that's the most disrespectful moments in anime history too, the Yujiro Hanma special. This man is a certified walking Black Air Force. So yeah, uh, that's it, and uh, I'm out this hoe. Oh yeah, we already saw the Majin Buu one the other day. But yeah, that, yeah, he... I didn't even know he did half of that, and that explains where the brother, uh, Baki's brother came from, so that explains that, and why also Baki was living out on his own, so that explains that as well, but, uh, yeah, that, oof, you guys, let me, let, you let me know what you think, it, would he be considered the most disrespectful one, because Boo, he, yeah, he's the ultimate menace, but, like, uh, Yuji or Hanma, I feel like he's the most disrespectful, like, he does not care. If you can breathe, he, he's basically fighting you. He does not care who you are. 
literally he does not care but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it hit the like button comment subscribe and share if you have any requests come at the bottom of this video hit me on my social media which will be in the description below subscribe and comment which one to see next until the next video guys see ya